It is Groundhog's Day. What is going on, guys? It is Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. Today, we are going to be covering a plethora of things that are all happening on April 8th. In fact, uh, we are going to be talking about the Devil Comet, the solar eclipse, cicadas, CERN, the NASA launch, and actually even more, leave the world behind, uh, and many more things in today's show. Uh, we are actually going to be doing this again. A lot of folks... Uh, we we had some echo on a previous one, but without further mentioning any more, we're just going to get right into it. The total solar eclipse, if you guys did not know, they are actually going to be deploying National Guard. Normally that happens with disasters, but now they are actually doing it because of the plethora of people that are coming out and the extreme threats against our country. Christopher Ray from the FBI said that the chatter is worse now than it was in 2001. I actually previously talked about how I just watched a video going over the exact timeline of 2001 and back in uh, when that happened, somebody put together a YouTube video of what they were playing on TV, the news that day, and even how it broke down by minute uh, with the actual air traffic control and even switched in the TV and how it was running and when they switched over to the news, what they were covering. And it was pretty wild for me. And what I saw was pretty nuts. That that day, Jordan was announcing he was coming back to the Wizards and going back to the uh, NBA after retirement. And one thing I noticed is they were they were talking about George Bush and how he was going to be going to read to some kids. And that day just seemed like a normal day. It's it seems like no other day. Uh, but one one little tiny part about that is that they had uh, these cosmic events that were about to happen. And I thought that was absolutely wild. Now we look at the solar eclipse that is about to happen. And this is quite wild. They are going to be deploying National Guard to several places, including uh, the Oakley, Oklahoma 63rd. And that is because of what? Now, you might know that they have actually deployed National Guard to the New York subways, and that is something that is very odd to a lot of people. Has it stopped the crime and anything else? No, but what they have done has been checking bags. So if it's not there to stop all of the crime going on in the subways, then what is it there for? Well, many people believe, and it's pretty obvious, that they're checking for any kind of tea activity or terror. Uh, again, uh, they are going to be deploying to multiple areas, and you'll see National Guard for this. There are thousands of people, if not hundreds of thousands of people, flocking to this area, which they've also warned about, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Before we get started, though, I do want to remind you guys, we are independent. We're on our own. So all of this work that we put into it is all done by us. So if you want to support us and actually protect yourself at the same time, go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP and make sure to use the code MARF. You can get a device that will protect you against not only a Carrington level from uh, event from the sun, but it can also protect you from an EMP or multiple EMPs from any of the adversarial countries. It can be put on your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, uh, generators, and even your home. All right, go check it out. Thank you guys for doing so. Let's bring in my co-host slash internet brother, Dex James. And what is going on? How are you doing today? Well, hello, Adam, and hello, Fugle fam. I'm doing just fine, but I am quite concerned and perplexed over all the things that happen to be coming together right at the same time around April 8th. So not only will you have a, a big chunk of the United States will have a path of totality from Missouri and Illinois and others, but you have hundreds of thousands of people traveling to see it. A lot of the people that missed the 2017 one, which I actually saw that, so I have no interest in seeing this one. Uh, but again, a lot of the people that miss that, that is kind of a drive that they have to go see this one. Uh, many people regretted it after so many people after that said, oh my gosh, it was the craziest thing in the, in the world. Literally. Um, I saw it. It was absolutely nuts. Um, I had to use somebody else's Walgreens glasses, but once I did, I was blown away by what I saw. So I can understand why people are traveling to do this, but look at the timing. The world is at conflict. There is rumors and rumor, uh, wars and rumors of wars uh, happening right now. And it's getting quite crazy. Now, NASA it, NASA is uh, suspiciously launching a uh, mission on this day, and it's supposed to actually go and follow into the solar eclipse. It says NASA will launch three sounding rockets during the total solar eclipse on April 8, 2024, to study how Earth's upper atmosphere is affected when sunlight momentarily dims over a portion of the planet. 
Or at least that's what they say they are doing. Now, how they named this mission is even more perplexing. They actually named it the Atmospheric Perturbations Around Eclipse Path. Now, they worked that around the name APEP. Now, APEP, if you actually look at APEP, it is uh, the, the god or the ancient Egyptian deity who embodied darkness and disorder, and thus the opponent of light, Ma'at, or Ra, was the bringer of light, and hence the, bringer, uh, the biggest opposer was Apep. Now, they also relate this to Apophis. So, Apep slash Apophis. Not weird at all, considering we also have the Devil Comet uh, coming at the same time. Uh, in fact, they actually say that they are going to be visible. The Devil Comet will be visible during this entire thing. Uh, if you don't know about the Devil Comet too, we actually did a specific side video on that on this channel as well just the other day. Uh, but the Devil Comet, which used to look like it was actually called the Millennium Falcon uh, Comet, that will also be visible. Guess what else starts on April 8th? The LHC Accelerator on track to restart in April. Not just any day on April. CERN in Geneva, the Large Hadron Collider, you may have heard of it in crazy corners of the internet, is going to be starting on April 8th. Now, if you've watched Three Body Problem, you might know a little bit more about CERN than most 99% of people, uh, but most of us have actually studied CERN for years and not studied like, you know, read a thousand books in a public library and flipped through old newspapers, but we watched some YouTube videos on it. As far as CERN goes, CERN is very, very mysterious. As far as CERN, we don't know what their actual mission at CERN is, but if you even look at their logo, which is on uh, today's thumbnail, it is absolutely nuts that their logo actually looks like an eclipse. On top of having the three devil numbers in it, it actually uh, looks like an eclipse. Take a look at it. What do you think? Uh, is that logo, that was their direct and, and uh, their exact logo pasted right over the solar eclipse. That's quite nuts if you ask me. And they are happening to launch it on the eclipse. Is there some reason they are launching this back up? After watching Three Body Problem, does it make you wonder? Again, Three Body Problem, a lot of people say, oh, it's just a movie or it's just a show. Uh, but again, it has some actually interesting questions and a weird thought on uh, life and what life is here and everything else. So if you haven't seen the show, I don't blame you. It's on Netflix. Uh, but yeah, uh, Dex, why do you think that they are going to be starting up CERN on the same day? All of this is going down. The Devil Comet, uh, the Devil Disease comes out the same week. And, uh, of course, they're t starting up uh, CERN. Yeah, you know, the fact that all these are happening at the same time is what's so... It's just, it's crazy in one hand because they're all so uh, monumental or potentially um, disastrous in some rights because some people, you know, have their beliefs about what may, ha what may be happening when they actually collide at CERN. Um, and, you know, some people have described it as potentially creating wormholes or uh, altering um, the... Uh, dimensions that the earth is in there's all sorts of different uh ideas around that none of us really know but we all talk about it and for that to happen at the same time that we're all focused on this eclipse uh which is also getting so much attention from having national guard deployed to having everything else stacked up at the same time it is uh, very concerning and i think that's what bothers a lot of people right now when they look at all of these alignments uh, speaking of uh, things aligning with April 8th, uh, do you want to talk about the cicadas and the, the, the broods of cicadas coming out? Wow. So this is, you know, this is not just a regular cicadas from like a 13 year or the other ones that come on the 17 year. This is both at the same time. This is why it happens every 200 and some odd number of years, because there's it only so often do these two different broods actually uh, launch or present themselves at the exact same year. So this is set to happen sometime soon. Um, we don't know that it'll actually happen on the 8th, but it doesn't matter. We're in the springtime. It's happening now. It's another sign. Some people look at this as a biblical sign, but the fact that it's two is going to make it trillions. And then when we look at the map of where they say the majority of these cicadas are going to be present, that map uh, actually shows the majority are in the exact same location as where the uh, eclipse will be seen. So that's, uh, that's, that map will, will help, I think will help everybody understand a little bit more why it may just be a little 
concerning that there's an alignment here because that that thick area of where these uh, broods are going to be launching from, that's exactly where the eclipse is. Now, we don't know that there's going to be a direct correlation to them, but there might. Who knows? But it's set to happen any day now or any week now. Yeah, it's super weird to say the least. Uh, and, and then as far as a- April 4th, four days before, the planets are aligning. Uh, You will have Earth and four other planets. You'll have Mars, Saturn, Neptune, and Venus all will align. Uh, First, it will be Mars, then Saturn, then Neptune, and then Venus. So if you are paying attention to those things, it's absolutely going to be wild as well. So, um, and by the way, uh, one thing that I was not aware of, if, if it's just the four planets or if it's ours, so I would definitely go check for yourself. And then, of course, they are talking about the travel advisories that are going on. Now, this show, we have covered many of the different alerts and different warnings that they have put out all over the world, not only in Europe, but here. In fact, Europe is saying it's really, really bad, but they're actually saying it's just as bad here. There's alerts going off in, after what happened in Moscow, everything that's going on there, everything that's happening with China and Taiwan, North Korea and South Korea. Of course, uh, it, uh, you have Guyana and uh, uh, Venezuela. You have, of course, uh, India uh, sparking up with Pakistan and India sparking up with China. You have China and Philippines. You, of course, have a ton of others. And, of course, the big one right now, Israel and Iran um, and their subgroups. So there's a lot of advisories out because, obviously, there's going to be a lot of people traveling. So if you were a bad guy you might want to pick that day. But if you're a good guy just trying to get to where you're going, they're also telling you that the alerts, uh, as far as uh, travel, you might be running into lengthy delays. So if you're trying to catch that eclipse and you're flying somewhere, you might want to get there early and you might want to uh, get everything lined up beforehand because you might not make it if something goes wrong. Uh, they, a lot of the times when there's big events like this, people can get stuck in an airport for a whole day. Imagine that, and you end up missing the entire eclipse. And we wanted to also point out, as we did before, it's Groundhog's Day, so we're doing this again, uh, the the weird, weird kind of uh, predictive programming that's been put out lately. Not only are we, I, I hope, is it April 8th that, that the Civil Conflict movie is coming out? Can you look that up? Or is that April 16th or something else? I, I know it's coming. I think it's coming out. I think out. it already came out. Is it? I I swear it was like April 8th or something. If it has, I need to go see it. The the Civil War conflict movie uh, that comes out, lots of weird predictive programming. Obviously, where we are at right now as a country and as a world, every country has almost got the same playbook going where people are getting divided, young and old, this color and that color, this religion, that religion, this side, this side, this party versus this party. It's absolutely nuts how much people hate each other right now. Again, but the weird parts about this, the events of a couple days ago, and of course the ship that you assume in the movie Leave the World Behind is being controlled remotely, uh, that it just put out. And in that same movie, they end up putting a scene in between. It's just a very brief scene that shows a shot from the moon of the American flag, so America, and an eclipse. Only in this shot, it's the Earth eclipsing the sun. But isn't that just absolutely freaking weird? They show that uh, right before everything goes down. The the communications go down. The power grid goes down. Uh, of course, the, the entire thing happens. Civil conflict starts. So if there is any grandiose plan and there's predictive programming it, or there's higher power, then it would be pretty wild if that was the case. Dex, go ahead. A- Adam, it is April 12th. I was wrong. It was a pre-screening that I think that they had the other day. But yes, um, it is April 12th. Yeah, super weird. So uh, right after. The whole week. It, it's going to be nuts. Um, so all of this is happening in the same day or within a couple days of this event. Uh, mainly, though, the launch, the Devil Comet, uh, the solar eclipse, National Guard getting deployed, uh, and I know I'm missing one, and CERN. <laughs> what else can you say? April 8th is going to be absolutely wild. And this isn't based on any crazy speculation. This is based on actual fact. So what are you going to do for April 8th? Are you going to grab your popcorn? Are you going to be watching the solar eclipse? Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, Dex, thank you so much for your help today. 
Much love. Great job, brother. And again, I hope the echo-free version of this was better. Um, thank you, guys. And make sure to go check out our other channel over on Marfugal TV. Our show will be live in about an hour and a half. So make sure to tune into that as well. If, uh, if you're watching this replay tomorrow or any other day, you can click right here for that next video. Be safe, be prepared, and marf out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.